No matter how many years you've been working on computers, there is nothing that will prepare you for this sound. So here's the first boot. This is the Dell Power Edge 2950 server rack system from 2009, 2010. Sounds like a jet engine. This was free. And uh, I've had one of these before, but I've never actually tried to use it for anything. So I'm kind of curious now. It looks like we have When you continue, I don't know if we have an operating system on here. Maybe check failure. F2 for setup. Apparently, it's 2008 on the date. Memory information 16 gigs DDR2. It's not bad. CPU. 2.5 gigahertz, four cores, dual Xeon L5420, 2.5. I feel like these came with better processors than the videos that I watched. It's okay. Uh, let's see, good sequence. It's not picking up the hard drive. Interesting. Wait, the SATA ports are on. So here we are inside the beast. Dell Power Edge 2950 from 2010, I guess. I just picked this up for free. I've had a couple of these before, but I've never really played with them. I usually just take out the hard drives and sell it. So there are six 450 gigabyte, 15,000 RPM drives. Usually comes with two or four, but there's actually six in here. What does it look like? 2009, January. There's a DVD drive here, just in case you want to watch a movie. Just kidding. And these guys, so these are, I can't remember now, I think these are 7,000 RPM fans. Hot swappable, so you can just pop this out, even if it's on, and just put another one in. I saw one guy actually change these to put Noctua fans in there which seems a little overkill, but it would make it less noisy. And then I believe this is the rate controller, which you can change. This is the third generation, which I guess supports better things. I don't remember what, there was a two and a three. The three is better. And then we have here, the foot. There's our dual Xeon processors. 2.5 I guess. Which is probably not 
what it's maximum capable of. We do have, there is another SATA port here. And then I'm not sure what this does. Maybe it's another part of the RAID controller. See, it doesn't really, I don't know, that doesn't plug into anything, but this does. And then I put this Wi-Fi card in so I can get online and download some stuff. And then we have two, I believe two 700 watt power supplies that are swappable. I'm only using this one right now. And I always wondered if, let's just say you had no, oh look, there's an ATI. I guess that's the onboard graphics. Now one guy actually put a, a GPU in here, but I'm not sure how you would do that because see the slots, not full size. I think he had an adapter. Yeah, he had a riser cable or something. So, but no, I'm just curious, like what if you just took this? Cause it's a, it's an okay computer, computer wise, right? What if you just put an SSD here, right? Took out all these fans and then just used it as a, a server or like a gaming free. Cause you get these for free all the time. This is, this is the fourth one now that I've, nobody wants this. Nobody wants to buy it. It weighs like 50 pounds. It's, it's ridiculous. It's so loud when you turn it on. It's actually louder. Listen, when you, if you turn it on without the cover, it gets even louder. Listen. Unless you hate your family, you're not gonna ever use this in your house. But I just, I, I figure if these were missing, you'd probably get a fan fault. So I don't even know if it would boot, but you don't really need all these. You could like take this out, just put a couple of slow spinning fans here. You might not be able to use the cover anymore. So you'd have to kind of, I'm sure there's a sensor somewhere where the, uh, it knows if the cover's off or not. Where would that be? Here. But yeah, I mean, it's free. But I know what you're thinking. Now the, the other video that I watched, it said it had PCI video connectors, but I don't see it. It would be funny if we could slap a GPU in here. But, um, so this SATA cable runs all the way over here just for the DVD drive. That's kind of a waste. Wonder where would you get? This looks different than the one that I saw. There's your RAMs, so they're 16 gigabytes. You can go fill up these, get 32 or 48 or whatever the maximum is. Um, where would you get power? There's gotta be some way to get power. Oh, right here. Okay. Yeah, this is what somebody said you could do. You could actually take this and the SATA connection and then use this to power the SATA drive. So you can just put an SSD in here, take out all the drives. Even though it's humongous, um, in testing, the uh, one guy I watched, it was using about 200 watts at idle and 300 watts at, at load, which is actually not horrible. If you could just get rid of these crazy fans. Actually, let's do that. Just before we, let's take out all the fans. 
and just see what happens. It it might not even boot. It's gonna be some sort of error. So we're just gonna have no fans now. And see what it does. So we're turning it on. See if it gives us a fan error. It's interesting, this, they look brand new. There's no dust or anything. There's no fan error. We're booting into Windows 10. So let's put this in. We can do it on the fly here. without the fans, so you can maybe put something quiet here and then just change this and then you have a free computer. But there's only one question left. Wanna play Fortnite?